Hello, I'm Constantine from WebEnable team and in this video I'm going to show you how you can access your development environment on WebEnabled using SSH. Uh, so we are here on the dashboard on the page of our project, demo project. So, and uh, basically all the information you need to access your site is located on the right in stats pane. So, that's SSH command. If you have Linux, you just execute it. So, now let's pretend we forgot our password. We can click reset shell password in manage pane and submit the confirmation form. So the password is reset and now we get our new path. Let's copy it somewhere. So now let's go back to project. Uh, and copy this command into a shell. Uh, we will need our password, so let's copy it too. So actually that's all. We are now in our environment. You can execute Linux commands and that's it. So now I want to show you how you can uh, use SSH keys to access your environment without passwords. Uh, you can install your key at my account page. Generally it should be one of the first things you do when you log into Web Enabled when you get your new account. Because keys, uh, this key which you install here will be copied into uh, JIT repositories you create on Web Enabled. Uh, everywhere, uh, on all places you can access with this key. So, we want to copy our public key into this field. And it's better to check these checkboxes. So, when someone will share the project with you, your key will be installed there and you can access it too. So, but if you have like if you have some old project uh, that uh, did not got your new key, that's no problem. Let's just go back to our project and install the key there. So it's a link in the shell terminal uh, part of this page and click it. It's upload public key. And the same approach here. You just copy the key and click submit. So your key has been uploaded and now we want to check if it will work. So before we used the password but now we don't need it, we just need to provide the private key. So we are in our environment now, we did not enter the password, so uh, simply that's it. So I want to show you how you can use FileZilla to access your site files with uh, this graphical tool. So uh, you will need the host part of SSH command, uh, put it into host field, uh, username and password. So uh, WebEnabled provides SSH access, so you need to select port uh, 22. And then you simply click We Connect. So uh, here we are in the home folder of your user. So uh, let's put uh, index.php file into our project. It's empty yet, so we want something here. Okay, let's put it. Uh, so now as we uploaded our new file, let's check if it will work. Uh, I'll show you the contents of this file. It's simply a hello world string. 
So now let's go to web accessible URL of our project. So you can see it's working. So simply as this, you can navigate here easily. You can also use uh, FileZilla with your SSH key, but this will require to install a page and it's a part of party project. Uh, you can find documentation about this on FileZilla site. So thanks for your attention. Bye.